Rod Carew got a new heart, kidney from a former Baltimore Ravens tight end. On December 12, former Baltimore Ravens tight end Conrad Royland died far too young at age 29. He had suffered a brain aneurysm two weeks earlier and never recovered, but because his other organs had not been affected, his family donated them to someone who might be sick enough to use them. Three days after Royland's death, Baseball Hall of Famer Rod Carew received a new heart and kidney after more than a year of ill health following a heart attack. All he and his family initially knew was that the organs came from a 29-year-old male donor who had died at UCLA Medical Center, and all Royland's family knew was that Conrad's heart and left kidney had gone to a 71-year-old man in Southern California. But both families soon put two and two together, as I'm sure you are right now reading this, Carew's heart and kidney had come from Royland. According to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, it's the first ever organ transplant between professional athletes. As documented in a story by Garrett Downing on the Ravens team website, have tissues at the ready, the two families have since connected in the wake of all this, with the Roylands visiting Carew and his wife, Rhonda, soon after he was released from the hospital in February. We lost a wonderful man, so it had to go into a wonderful person, Roiland's mother, Mary, said she told Rod. I couldn't be happier that it went to such a wonderful man. Said Carew, who is expected to make a full recovery, I will take care of this one because I've been given a second chance, and God knows how I feel and what I'm going to do for him. Amazingly enough, Roiland had met Carew some two decades earlier as an 11-year-old, as he went to middle school in California with the MLB greats kids. You know I met Rod Carew. Mary recalled him saying. That's how it was the whole rest of the day. It was really kind of cute. For him to meet a pro athlete at that age, it was like the best thing that could happen to him, she said.